everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Today is a very rainy day in Honolulu, so it is perfect to have a bowl of soup. And if you're tired of the same old stuff, even though I love it, like pho or saimen, we're gonna go to a place with a new type of noodle soup. And it is Taiwanese beef noodle soup. So let's check it out. So we're here at the Chinese Cultural Plaza and um, they have all kinds of different foods. And we're gonna try out a place that does Taiwani Taiwanese food. Usually here in Chinatown, it's mostly Cantonese food, uh, but you do have a sprinkling of Taiwanese food. And here it is. It is Seasons Ice and Eatery. They do different types of Taiwan Taiwanese street food. Can't say the damn word, damn. <laughs> Anyway, Taiwanese street food and their noodles, they have wontons, they have their Taiwanese sausages, fried tofu and such. And here it is. Looks really delicious, fried calamari. Let's go check it out. If you come in here, the kitchen's right there by the register. You can see them making your noodles. And then um, I got to start a winter melon tea. I've never had it before, but it's supposed to be sweet. Mm, interesting. It's got dark tea notes, almost like a black tea, but it is sweet. I got two dishes because I don't have much stomach space. I'd love to try the Taiwanese uh, sausages and stuff. But I got their uh, Taiwanese beef and tendon noodle, the classic. And then I also got um, some wonton chili, oil wontons. And uh, the difference I heard from their family noodles is the family noodles has a beef broth that's sweeter. So if you get the Taiwanese beef noodles, it's more savory. So I'm not too into sweet. Um, and then the wontons and the dumplings, the difference is the wontons have shrimp in it and pork, whereas the dumplings only have pork. Okay, so this is the classic Taiwanese noodle. This is a medium, it's huge. It's got cilantro in there, some beef. I got the beef and tendon. If you don't like tendons, you can um, not get them. And it's got these noodles in there different kind of noodles and some looks like some pickled Chinese vegetables with cilantro and green onions smells delicious the broth is quite dark um, so it looks very hearty and when you're waiting for your food the kitchen is literally right there uh, where he does your noodles and you can watch him making your noodles this is also the Taiwanese garlic sauce it's house made it's not spicy at all um, he said you can put it in your soup, but I'm going to try it without it first. Mm. The noodles are like homemade. You can tell they're fresh. Um, nice chew to it. Very chewy and bouncy. And um, wow, never had something like that before. It's super fresh. The broth that coats the um, noodles is really savory and beefy so if you like beef you'll definitely love it it almost reminds me of oxtail soup this is the beef pretty thick slices if you like oxtail soup but don't want to fidget with all the bones and stuff this tastes exactly like it um, except it's just meat and the meat just falls apart it's so tender it's been braised and cooked for so long it just literally rips apart so soft. All right, let's try this garlic sauce. It's quite thick. Ooh, when I squeezed it, you can definitely smell the garlic. It's very garlicky. Wow. So if you like garlic, you're gonna love this sauce, I'm sure. Let's give it a taste. Wow, very garlicky, fresh garlic, but it's got a twang of vinegar. Sorry, it's very lively in here, which is a great thing. So hopefully you can hear me, but it's got a little bit of vinegar in there, so it's got a little bit of twang in there. It's kind of good. I've never had Chinese pickled vegetables, so let's try this. I wouldn't say it's too um, sour, but you can tell it's fresh. It almost tastes like just bok choy, so it's pleasant. 
They also have your regular chili sauce, and I like chili, so I'm just gonna put that in there. There's a lot of beef in here, so I can't complain. And this is a medium, like I said, so imagine the large. I mean, this is pretty big. So um, pretty generous portions here. And the taste so far is really fabulous. The noodles are very heavy, so um, I don't know, I feel like I'm not so good with chopsticks because they've got some weight to them, but in a good way, it really fills you up, but it doesn't feel heavy or dense at all. They're very light, but chewy, bouncy noodles, like I said in the beginning, and they really soften up that beef flavor. Really, really interesting and delicious. Um, I think my opinion is not to put the garlic sauce, like not too much, because it kind of overwhelms the natural beef broth of it. So if you like oxtail soup, like I said in the beginning, it's going to take all that flavor away, and it's just going to kind of get um, bombarded with the garlic sauce. So if you're a pure and you like the beef broth the way it is with all the um, seasonings that's been simmering in uh, just leave it be and just put a little bit if you're curious but not too much all right my second dish I got was the six piece wontons you can get 12 but I don't have that much stomach space and I got it with chili oil if you don't like spice you can get it without it's adorned with the cilantro which I love so let's give it a taste it's got vinegar on it already, I think. It's got a sour taste to it, but it's got, I want to say, sesame seed oil as well. It's got a lot of complex flavors going on, and the chili, I don't think it's too spicy. And it's really good with the cilantro. Now this one, like I said, has the pork and the shrimp in it. That's what the waitress said. So that's the difference between the regular dump dumplings. I don't know what it reminds me of, but it definitely doesn't taste like um, one tons and Simon or something you would expect at um, dim sum. It's got that heavy vinegar taste, but it just reminds me of something. But I like it. It cuts through the fat of the meat. And it's a good complement to the um, soup because it's got a lot of beef flavor. So a uh, good dish all in all, very unique and different. All right, that was pretty bomb. I am done, all finished, which is rare for me, but I'm super hungry anyway, or I was. All right, done with that too, all done. That was really fabulous, a really nice meal. I think, honestly though, I'm gonna ask, if the one without chili sauce doesn't come with vinegar, because the vinegar was a little bit too heavy for me, I'm not a fan of vinegar so much, but we'll find out about that. But overall, pretty good. If you like heavy tastes and vinegar with the chili, um, that's for you. I think the chili, though, is not spicy to me, so if you don't like vinegar and the plain doesn't come with vinegar, I would just put this chili sauce on it, which is not vinegary at all. It's more like a regular chili sauce, so that's good. And um, final thoughts after this. Hi, first of all, my name is Brian Wang. I'm actually the second generation here. Um, Seasons Ice and Eatery has been around for about 30 years now. Uh, it started off with my dad and my mom. Uh, running the place. I took over the shop about five years ago. Okay, so like I was telling you earlier, we were talking <coughs> on camera, um, to answer some of the questions, because yeah. you spoke about it, um, the, the wonton, if you put the chili on it, you said it was a Sichuan It's a Sichuan style, more um, traditional Sichuan style, because a lot of the times, like, if you've never been to Sichuan, um, everybody's eating image of Sichuan food has always been hot, spicy, and oily, and you know, just numbing because of the pep uh, peppercorn oil. But if you've really been to Sichuan, especially like Chengdu or a little outskirt of um, Sichuan, you'll realize that there's a lot more flavor involved. There is going to be like the umami flavor, the sweetness, the, uh, the, the composite, you know, they incorporate a lot of sesame oil and vinaigrette kind of situation. So when you taste it, it's not just the heat, it's not just the oil. Is a little bit more on this you know, sweet and sour kind of side, so it should help you balance it out. Because a lot of times, like again, this is because the the stereotypical image of Sichuan dishes is brought upon in America per se. Because a lot of the the restaurant here, they say Sichuan, the chefs are not from there. <laughs> so. Okay, and then like we were saying, if you don't like spicy or vinegar, you can get them plain. 
Yes, you can. It yes, you, it doesn't have that. Um, no, um, but the wonton I recommend that you just do as a soup because we do have a wonton soup okay. because the wonton itself doesn't have too much flavor mm -hmm. um, versus the dumpling because we have two different. The, the dumpling is it's more you can you know put chili oil on top mm -hmm. if you want or just a regular soy sauce. Okay. Yeah. Anything else you want to add or um, to close? Yeah. Next time, come over and try yeah. our popcorn chicken. <laughs> And I was interested in your Taiwanese sausage, but I only have so much. So much yeah. Taste, so. Next time you can call in advance because that we do uh, we do actually cook the sausage from scratch, mm -hmm. so it does take about 20, 25 minutes. One more question. Go ahead. Um, before we close, what is the difference between like Cantonese food and Taiwanese food? Oh. Or, like you know, like some more like lambs, they have noodle soup. What is? Is okay. There a yeah, there is a big difference. Um, the reason for that is because Taiwanese beef noodle soup and traditional Chinese beef noodle soup. There's actually two variations of that. Um, the Chinese version, they use a lot of brisket, whereas Taiwanese, we use a lot of shank. So it's a different cut of meat, first of all. The seasoning is slightly different. Uh, the very, very traditional Taiwanese style, we put minimum seasoning. So mostly vegetables stock up by the, the, the vegetable itself and also just the, the original flavor of the, um, the beef. So that's, that's where the difference comes in. Uh, some people like the Taiwanese better because it does taste more, more of the beef. Some people don't because they don't really taste the seasoning. You know? So that's the difference. Oh, well, I really enjoyed your food. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. It was Bye. good to have you guys around. Okay. Bye. Take care. So there you have it. Seasons, ice, and eatery. Taiwanese food. Go check it out. Um, I always say a lot of people don't want to try something new because they're scared, but definitely try it. It's nothing weird. Um, you need to broaden your horizons and you'll be glad you did. Seasons Ice and Eatery downstairs at the Chinese Cultural Plaza. Um, you don't need validation to park here. Um, usually when you park, you come up from this side and then you take the stairs down or the elevators right there. And then the parking machine is usually by each elevator. There's one up there as well. And um, you can take the elevator if you have mobility issues or take the stairs down here. So thank you, Brian, for um, speaking on camera. I just asked him off of a whim, very friendly guy, and he's the second generation owner of Seasons Ice and Eatery, authentic Taiwan Taiwanese cuisine. And also like you saw, like he explained, it's Sichuan as well. So like I guess I was right. It was very heavy tasting. So um, they tend to like heavy seasoned stuff with sesame seed oil and chili and the vinegar. So it was just like like a pop in your mouth, like really aggressive flavors, but um, not like I said into vinegar too much. So next time I'd probably get them plain. He did suggest to get the dumplings next time if I wanted to put the chili oil on it on the side. So if you're not into vinegar, uh, take his advice and get the dumplings instead and put the chili oil that's on the table on it if you want a little spice. So uh, if you like this, press the like button, subscribe if you're new, check out Seasons Ice and Eatery if you're in the Chinatown area for some different kind of eats. Something familiar yet different. Like I said, it tastes like oxtail soup. So if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend 20 something dollars, almost $26 now for a bowl of oxtail soup, and you want something more filling because it comes with noodles, check it out and try their beef tendon uh, Taiwanese beef noodle soup. Very good and delicious. See you next week on another food adventure and take care everyone. Have a nice weekend. Peace out.